Hello YouTube, I received a request to show you how I make stickers. I make stickers in AutoCAD because that's the program I know how to use the best for creating this kind of a thing. You can create them in Illustrator, Photoshop, I'm sure there's lots of other software out there to do this job. But I do it in AutoCAD because that's what I know. That's what I know how to use. What I do is I take a photograph of the old stickers or I find a photograph on the line and I use an application called Scanner Pro on my iPhone. So Scanner with a space and Pro. It's not a free app, but it's a very good app. And what that allows me to do is uh, de-skew the photograph very easily. And then it allows me to either save it as a PDF or as a JPEG. And I use the JPEG. So I have the JPEG right here. We'll bring that into AutoCAD. And we'll pop that into place. And now I need to scale it. This is why I like to use AutoCAD. Because I want to be able to measure it with my calipers how large the sticker needs to be. So we'll measure our area for the sticker. It's going to be about 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters with a little cutout at the top. But that's all right, I can do the cutout after the fact. So 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. I can make out where those corners of those stickers are from the from this photograph here. So I've got this spot about right here and about right there. So I'm going to scale this so that that is exactly 10 millimeters. So I use the scale command. I'll select my object. I'll do a base point of about right there. I'll say reference from there to there and I'll say 10. So now I have the sticker the right size, 10 millimeters. I can use the distance command, D-I-S-T, and check that. Yep, 10 millimeters, close enough. So now I'm ready to draw over the top of this with whatever I need to draw with. So I'll select that, and then I want to change the fade on this, 50. Let's see about that, and I'll say OK. So now when I draw over the top of it, I can see what I'm drawing. I'll draw an arc. So I'll type in arc. And by default, it starts with a three-point arc. That's what I want. I'm going to start about right there. I'm going to go to here. And then about, let's see. Oh, yeah, that arc makes it all the way. One continuous arc. That is wonderful. Type in arc and hit enter. I'll click that spot to start. I want to turn off my polar because I don't need that snap going in and screwing me up. And there, and then, let's see, I want to go end of here, and about right there. Good. And then I'll mirror it. So I'll type in mirror. I'll pick the two items. I'll mirror it from there to there. And there is the shield. Yay, shield. Now we're going to draw that B. The B has two little nubbins that pop out over in this area. So we'll get those drawn in. Let's start with a line, and we'll just start a line about there, and we'll go down to here. Hmm, probably about right there. Oh, I need that polar on. Polar on? Yes. All right. Polar. And we'll do a line to there. About where the arc stops. We'll hit enter, and then we'll draw another arc. And in AutoCAD, if I type in arc to start the arc command, and then I hit enter after starting the arc command, it draws an arc that is tangent from the last object drawn. So I'm going to draw in that B to right here. We're going to mirror this B and about the midpoint, which is right about, let's see, none there. Uh, well, we can get it close. Why is it doing that? Polar, polar, polar. There we go, like that. And then we'll move it so that it's in line. Right there, that's wonderful. We use the trim command to trim off these parts there. Good. We'll draw a line from here to here. 
And then from there to there, good. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but it's the way that came into my head. Usually the first way that comes into my head is the right way. Join! So I use the join command. What that'll do is make these all what are called polylines. All one line. And then once they're polylines, then I can do a hatch. And I'll hatch inside there and change it to solid. Go in there, there, and there. Good. And then we'll do here and here. Good. And then I did another Google search. And I searched for uh, BP colors. So what colors are British Petroleum? And then I'm using this little color picker. And then I can go over the top of this. Sorry, my resolution is so bad, but that's okay. Yeah, so I wrote that down. <laughs> 0, 1, 5, 5, 0 RGB colors. And then the yellow is RGB 255-2550. And so that gives me an idea of what color to make this these hatches here. So I, close. I can go to color, select color, bring up the color thing. I can do true color and type in the color. So it's zero comma one five five comma zero. Look at that green. And then I can make this yeller. And then I will go to my color picker again. And that is true color. And it's going to be two five five two five five zero. And there's yellow. So there's my British Petroleum yellow. So now what I'm going to do is move these guys out of the way. And I'm going to move it over to here. So all I have left is the image and the polylines there. So there's my BP logo. And I need to have a box around it of 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And let me undo that move. Let's get the box drawn. Draw a rectangle from here to there. 9.8 is close enough to 10 to me. And then I'll move that, 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 that. I'll move it from there to here. And there it is. There's my sticker. Almost perfect. I'm going to go ahead and just move that over like this. So that it looks better. I'll turn off the grid so they're not in the way. Still looks a little too far that way now. That looks good. Then I'm going to take this color from white. Because when I print white, it prints black. That's the way AutoCAD works. So I'm going to select color. I'm going to pick a light gray. That way it prints real light. Real light gray and it's easier to cut. I need two of these, so instead of making two, I'm actually going to make like four. So I'll copy that to there. I'll copy this up to here. Yay. Perfect. So now I'm going to go and get the printer ready. I use a Canon selfie printer. I'm going to AutoCAD here. We'll go plot. It's actually called plot because it's an old program. And I want to print to the selfie. Okay. And it's the card, that's what I want. And I want to print a window right here, like that. And I want it not to fit the paper. I want it to be millimeters, because that's what I measure everything in. I want it to be one millimeter equals one millimeter. One to one, yes. Good, good, good. Apply, preview. That's good. We'll go ahead and plot. We'll see it come out the printer. Okay. Now what we're going to do is check it. So I've got the calipers at about 10 millimeters. And we will check our work. And that looks about right. 
And there we have our BP stickers for the tow truck. Yay me!